The difference, obviously, is there's a lot of sort of self-managed programs where people think they've got the latest diet or, you know, they can go to the gym and whatever and they sort of, they try to sort of manage it themselves. But, but most people just fall off the, you know, the rail and go, and, and it's all too hard and they feel fail, like they've failed. Um, the difference that you offer is a really sort of multi-pronged approach, but particularly more a holistic point of view. Mm-hmm. Exercise psychologists, you know, doctors, cardiologists, this team that can really give you the support. We have a really good team and our patients respond to that. And to get behaviour change is always a very difficult thing. To ask people to change what they've done before. Yes, yes. Well, it's and so ingrained. It's ingrained but it's not conscious. Mm. So we need to elevate their behaviour to a conscious level and have them ask themselves questions about everything that they do and predominantly about their food choices but also about their exercise choices. Mm-hmm. As I said earlier, most decisions to eat are subclinical, about 90%. If you have a bag of jelly beans sitting there and they're on the desk over here, the people will eat twice as many of the ones sitting close as they do of the ones that they have to move to get. Yeah. So it's like, it's, yeah. a, it's a habit. Yeah. And we need to make people's choices mm-hmm. about what they do, make them conscious choices. So I think our skill with the multidisciplinary clinic is to make choices conscious. Mm-hmm.